sirens go off and school children and other civilians run into bunkers for protection. Every day you're, you're always worried, where are you? How quickly can you get to that point so that you can be in a place where you can run and defend yourself just in case? Since 2001, rocket attacks from Gaza have killed 15 Israeli civilians. You know, 15 people is just the, the most extreme example of the impact, but the others who have constant fear of bombardments that have hit schools and a synagogue and private homes, this is the real impact. The laws of war are very clear on one essential point, and that is armed forces must distinguish between civilians and combatants, and they may only target combatants. No attack can have as its purpose to terrorize the civilian population. The Qassam rockets are homemade uh, junkyard weapons thrown together uh, in metal shops, even with signposts, fired by armed groups in Gaza out into Israel with a range of about 15, 16 kilometers. They have no guidance systems. When you fire a Qassam rocket into a civilian populated area, it is inherently indiscriminate. Now, the manner and the extent in which these rockets are being fired out of Gaza into Israel strongly suggests that this is the intent of Hamas and other groups. <laughs> Hamas leadership have consistently said that they're using these weapons as an attack against the civilian population. There are about 800,000 Israeli civilians who are within the range of these rockets, and that's a lot of people who have been living under this shadow of death, injury, and harm for the past eight years. Since November uh, 2008, the rockets from Gaza have killed three Israeli civilians in Israel. During that time, a Qassam rocket landed in the Gazan town of Beit Lahia and killed two young Palestinian girls. So it's not only Israeli civilians who are suffering from these rocket attacks, but also the Gazan civilians. They're violating the laws of war not only by firing a weapon that's indiscriminate, but also by firing from civilian areas. And so once they go into these areas, pop the rockets off and run, the civilians that are living there, that are left behind, they're the ones that are going to pay the price. Hamas and the other armed groups in, in Gaza make two key arguments. Uh, first, they say, look, Israel has committed massive violations of the laws of war, including war crimes against our civilian population. And secondly, they say, this is the only means we have to defend our population against a massive modern military. Neither of those arguments justify the use of these rockets. Violations by one side can never justify violations of the laws of war by the other side. Whatever means you use, you must still respect the principles of distinguishing between civilians and combatants, and Hamas and the other groups have consistently violated those key principles. When we look at civilian casualties in Israel and in Gaza, the overwhelming number of victims are in Gaza, but it is not a numbers game. What matters to us is protecting civilians. It is holding the parties to the conflict accountable to international humanitarian law. The worst violations must be documented, not on the basis of the number of victims, but on are these violations being committed and can they be stopped.